Hi guys, welcome back to another video. As you can tell by the title of the video, I will be sharing my experience on how to become a nurse in the UK. First of all, let's start with A-levels. A-levels is split into two years. First year is called AS level and the second year is called A2 level. In first year, you usually pick four subjects and in terms of nursing, it would be good to choose um, some science subjects. This can be, for example, biology, chemistry. Also, you can choose health and social care, BTEC science and psychology. What happens in second year is out of those four subjects, usually one of them is dropped. During your A-level studies, it's a good idea to gain experience relevant to the nursing course, whether that's volunteering in a care home or working as a healthcare assistant in the hospital. The school or college will usually go through the UCAS system. In this system, you choose five universities. These universities will range in the entry criteria. For example, your top choice might be University of Surrey. Just in case you don't meet that criteria, you can choose four others um, with lower entry grades. When applying to the universities, it is usually done between October to February, March time. During this time, your grades have not been set because the exams are usually held in June. So what your college or school might do is give the university predicted grades. Another point in applying for universities is you will either have a grade system or point system. So for example, the university might ask for AAB or the university can also ask for 120 points. These points are called tariff points or tariff grades and this can all be found on Google and the UCAS website. Another step in the application for nursing is personal statement. Personal statement can be about 500 words. It's a way for you to persuade the readers who you are, who you are, your skills, your experience, um, and why you are fit for the nursing course. Another thing on experience is if you didn't get a chance to work as a healthcare assistant or volunteer at a care home or hospital, you can always do the transferable skills. So for example, if you worked as a waitress at a restaurant instead, you can transfer those skills into the nursing course, explain how these skills will help you become a nurse. Okay, so your personal statement has been accepted. The university is satisfied with your predicted grades. They will now give you an offer for an interview. There are many types of interviews, some of which are one-to-one -one interviews, panel interviews, group interviews, so, and multi-mini interviews. Interview questions can vary from university to university. Some universities will go through some scenario questions and some will just ask basic questions, for example, why did you apply to this university? Why do you want to become a nurse? What is the role of a nurse? And tell me a little bit about yourself. Another part of the application process for nursing is the English and maths tests. Some universities will do both and some will just do the maths or the English. Now don't worry if you haven't done maths since GCSEs, the questions are very simple. Really you cannot use a calculator but again um, the questions are very basic and simple. You can obtain interview questions and practice English and maths questions online. It is very important that you do prepare for the interview. When you are in the interview you have all the answers and you know what you could say to the potential questions. So after going through the five universities, you are to be choosing your first choice university and your second choice. Your first choice is the one that you aim to go to, but if you don't meet that criteria by the end of your exam period, then usually up to the second choice. All right, so you've made it to university. The nursing course is a Bachelor of Science course. It is usually a three-year course. During those three years, um, you'll be learning theory side and you'll be going to placements as well. In your placements, you'll have the opportunity to go to primary care, secondary care, whether that's in a GP setting, district nurse, A&E, elderly care, a wide range of opportunities. Once you have graduated after three years, you will receive an NMC pin. 
This is called the Nursing and Midwifery Council PIN. Uh, and PIN is Personal Identification Number. This number is your registration number as a nurse. And in three years, you'll be revalidated. Revalidation is to ensure that you as a nurse have stayed up to date with the relevant knowledge and skills um, to be a nurse and you have worked enough hours. At the moment, it is 150 hours in three years. A tip that I will share with you guys is once you've become a nurse, it is a good idea to keep a portfolio. And in the portfolio, keep a record of your trainings, skills that you've learned. Okay, so that was a very quick guide in how to become a nurse. If you guys have any questions, um, please leave them down in the comment section below. I'll be happy to answer them. Stay safe and I hope to see you guys again soon. Bye.